Celebrate Jesus, somebody. Celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Celebrate Jesus. thank God for the success he gave us throughout the conference week and the way he has enabled us to be in this place having had a successful uh, past week where uh, we received the ministration of the word and a good worship. Was everything awesome? Yes. yes. I want us to give thanks to God this day and just give him the glory 
for the fire enabled us to come. Father, we thank you because of the success of the conference. Thank you for the provision. Thank you, Lord, for being there, my God, for strengthening us, Lord. Thank you because of giving us the hope of God and holding our hands throughout this conference. We give you the praise, Lord. Thank you because of every minister. Lord, we bless them wherever they are, Jehovah. The singers and the preachers, oh God. Father, we declare the blessing of God to rest upon them, oh God, that you may strengthen them, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Lord, for us who are able to attend, that God Almighty, that Jehovah, whatever you promised us, oh God, we thank you that Jehovah, it shall come to pass speedily in our lives. Let you receive the glory. 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 We give you praise and we give you worship. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody give a shout and a clap to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. He is worthy of our praise and of our His glory is forever with us. Amen. The glory of God is with us. Amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me and He has glorified you this morning. Hallelujah. So we want to thank God for this service and uh, I want to welcome our online viewers even as you join us. Thank you. This is our second service. Just give them a clap as you welcome them uh, to this service. Praise the Lord. Uh, I want to welcome the uh, Sunday school. Sunday school just come in front. So uh, we are back to our week. Uh, remember our Tuesday fellowship, our Wednesday service. We shall gather here at 6 30 and our online services at 10 a.m. And not forgetting the morning due every 5.30 in the morning. So you are all encouraged to be able to uh, attend our services. Jesus' name. Riches and honor shall be in their house forever in their lives in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. Are we ready now to listen to the word of God? Yes. So allow me to welcome Bishop with a clap and a shout as we welcome Bishop.
Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time, I'll give somebody a high five on my behalf. And those of you who are following live, uh, welcome. Welcome to this second service. That sound is okay. If you just leave it exactly the way it is. If you leave my mic exactly the way it is, then we are going to be okay. Praise the Lord. All right, lift up your hand. Let's make a confession as we start. Uh, declare surely goodness and God's mercy. They shall follow me all the days of my life. The blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow. I am highly favored. I'm a child of God. Goodness and mercy, they follow me. And I am like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. I am fruitful in every season. My leaf does not wither. And the things I do, they prosper, they grow, multiply, and they are established. I am blessed in this city. I am blessed in the countryside. I am a blessing. Goodness and mercy, signs and wonders, they follow me wherever I go. And there is no weapon formed against my life that can succeed. I am successful. I am prosperous. I'm a child of God. I am accepted in the beloved. I am attractive. I cannot be rejected. Therefore, when I ask, I receive. When I seek, I find. When I knock, the door opens. Even now, the desires of my heart they are coming to pass and it is well with my life i walk by faith and not by sight god's word is coming to pass in my life i have a long life i will not die prematurely i refuse a premature death I refuse to die before my time. I will not die accidentally. I will not die a shameful death. I'm a child of God. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I have eternal life. The life of God is in me. I am light. I am sold. I am the city. Set on the hill. I cannot be hidden. My end is peace. In the name of Jesus. My end is victory. In the name of Jesus. It is a matter of time. God's word is working in my life. Therefore I rejoice in Jesus name. Shout hallelujah if you believe that. Glory, 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 glory to God. Praise the Lord. Give a neighbor a, a high five and tell them it is well. Tell them it is well. Praise the Lord. Uh, before you sit down, I want us to uh, welcome Bims and Nina back to church in Jesus' name. Why don't you just come and stand here, Bims, Suzerio, uh, the last time appreciate them some of you jealousy will take you to hell it's just <laughs> turn to your neighbor and tell them in everything you're just okay but this jealousy this one thing might just might just cause you to lose the kingdom tell them we celebrate other people tell them your day shall come I 
Ayapatia Mr. Uyu sasa mekua Mr. Suzario. Give him a mic one minute together with your wife. Uh, just say something. It's good that you're back in church. Praise the Lord. Yeah? Karibu. Nina, this is now your church. You are not visiting. Wangapo na joo yu sasa ni wahapa. Muna mpokea. Aya makofi yake. Say something. Say something to God's people. Bwana esa sifiwe. Bwana esa sifiwe. Naomba muke wangu wa wasalimie kwanza. Alafu niweze kuendelea. Amen. We are not a Mrs. Mrs. Suzario. Bwana Isa sifiwe. Eh mke wangu aongeangi mengi. Na mimi siongeangi mengi sana. Nataka kushukuru uh, my bishop and pastor Kathy for really uh, making our day. Let me tell you I was very happy kuona this is home na niliunganishwa kwa hii madhabahu tupikie wazazi wangu makofi kwanza haleluya ah uh, ya pili nataka kushukuru uh, mke wangu kwa kuni accept vile niko hivi honeymoon ni nzuri by the way mm. honeymoon ni nzuri amenilinda vizuri na imekuwa poa kuna kitu nataka kumwambia this is the best family ever you will ever want to join. I assure you that. Praise the Lord. Simpige makofi. Hey. Unajua ukiwa mkeni unajiuliza nimeenda wapi? This is the best family ever. 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 Hallelujah. Muki dance hapa kwa anniversary. Nilikuwa nasikia tu niende lakini naambiwa turi ya honeymoon my friend akuendangi hivyo. Lakini nilikuwa ngumu naona mnaruka mnaruka lakini nasema Sunday siwezi kosa kwenda home. Na vile nimeingia gate hivi nimesikia nimerudi home. Kuna that sense of belonging yeah. inaku inakukava yani I miss you guys you are the best. Then you people you came through for us. Yani pare eh, fahari garden ilikuwa imejaa na nilikuwa nafanya hivi naona believers nikifanya hivi naona believers you people you are the best mwa mwa hallelujah asanteni sana kwa pesa zenu bishop these people stood with me they really stood with me they gave their finances lakini sitaki kusahau bishop ni ruhusu ni shukuru some people who stood with me sister emily where are you hey Sister Emily kuja kuja mam kuja mam Sister Emily stood with us Alex Mutulu Alex Mutulu where are you come 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 ah. Kila mtu amesimama na mimi nataki lakini nataka kushukuru these two they didn't give up on us. Walikuwa wanatupigia kasimu wanatuambia usijari press on press on. Sister Emily alikuwa anani ananihubiria, alikuwa ananihubiria verses every day. Bim soma hiyo. Sasa ilikuwa inabidi uingie ndani ujue hiyo verse inasema nini. May the Lord bless you. Alex thanks so much for standing with us. We appreciate believers work of faith family. We are back na we are here to stay. May the Lord bless you. Appreciate Bims and uh, Nina in Jesus name. Makofi yao. Amen. As we sit down. Bwanaesu asifiwe. Amen. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa mungu. I, where is, uh, there is, uh, please mama, pussy mama, mama Moffat, or just wave your hand. This lady is mom, Pastor Moffat's mom. Wow. Amen. And today she has uh, come to visit us. You know, Pastor Moffat is part of this family and our friend. Mama, welcome. This is where we come from. This is the Believer's Walk of Faith, where we only believe. Praise the Lord. You may have your seats in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I want to announce this before 
I continue. Nataka nitangaze hii kabla nikaweza kuendelea. On the 6th of August. Tarehe 6 mwezi wa 8. It's going to be a Sunday. Itakuwa siku ya Jumapili. From 3 p.m. A kuanzia saa 9. We shall launch Kilimani Church. Tutaenda ku launch kanisa ya Kilimani. Believers Walk of Faith Church Kilimani. Kanisa la Believers Walk of Faith Church Kilimani. 6th of August. A tarehe 6 mwezi wa 8. 3 p.m. Asatisa jioni We shall be here in church then we go Then the following Sunday it ends a normal time Amen How many people are excited that we are growing Ni wangapu wanafuraya kwamba tunakua And so Kilimani church is come of age Amen Mambo yote iko sawa we have a venue uh, We have the venue that is already set Amen Then Kilimani Pale Kilimani And we want to thank God Na tunataka kushukuru mungu uh, For provision Kwa sababu ya jinsi ya nathio tufanyia. The power man. Thank you. So we thank God for that provision. Tunashukuru mungu kwa iyo njambu ambala na tufanyia. So watu wa kilimani. Watu wa kilimani. Uh, this is the day that you have been waiting for. Hii ndiyo siku mumekua mkingojea kusikia. Praise the Lord. Bwana mungu wa pewe sifa. Alright, let's go straight to the word of God. Last week we had our anniversary Sunday. A wiki iliyopita ilikuwa siku yetu ya kuadhimisha miaka 18. Yeah, a beautiful Sunday. Ilikuwa Jumapili njema zaidi. We turned 18 years old. Atuliweza kuadhimisha miaka 18. And so we must act our age. Basi tunashukuru sana. We've come of age now. Tumekuwa kwa hiyo miaka sasa. John chapter 14. Yohana 14. And I am going to read. Na nitaweza kusoma Verse 6. Mustari wake ni wasita. As we begin. Tunapo anza. These are the words of Jesus. Haya ndio mambo kutoka kwa Yesu. He said unto him. Akasema kwangu. He's talking to Thomas here. Anamuambia Tomaso hapa. Because Thomas had asked a question in verse 5. Kwa sababu Tomaso alikuwa memuliza swali katika mstari watano. When Jesus said, I am going to prepare a place for you. Wakati ambapo Yesu aliposema, ninaenda kuanda mahali ama makazi kwa jili yako. And then I will come. Na pikisha nitarudi. And receive you to myself. Na nikaweze kukupokea tuende na we. So that where I am, you may be there also. Ilikuwa mba mahali nitakapokuwa na we utakuwa pia. That provoked a question in Thomas. Hiyo ilikuwa. Ilisababisha Tomaso kuwa na suali He said Lord we don't know where you're going Haka uliza abuana hatuju unaenda wapi How can we know the way Na pia tunawezaje kujua njia And Jesus says Na basi Yesu haka sema He says I am the way Haka mjibu mimi ndi minjia The truth Njia na ukweli And the life Na uhai Nobody comes to the Father Hakuna mtu wawezae kuja kwa baba Except they come through me Ila kupitia kwangu mimi I want us to declare those words of Thomas together Nataka tutangaza hayo mambo ya Tomaso kwa pamoja So not the words of Thomas, the words of Jesus Mambo ya Yesu kwa pamoja Jesus said I am the way Yesu akasema mimi ndi minjia So this is what I want you to say Na hiki ndio kitu nataka tuseme Jesus Yesu I can't hear you Jesus Is the way Ndiya njia Praise the Lord Amen And then Jesus said I am the truth Yesu akasema mimi ndi mikweli So say with me Jesus is the truth Yesu ndiye ukweli And then Jesus said to Thomas And I am the life Akasema kwa Tomaso mimi ndiyo uhai So somebody say Jesus is the life Yesu ndiyo uzima Now we will speak that again Tutanena mambo hayo tena And now we'll declare it this way Na tutasema kwa njia hii There is a reason why I'm asking you to say that Kuna sababu ambayo nakuliza ukaweza kusema hivu As we continue you'll know why that confession is important Tutakapo endelea utajua kwa nini hiyo kukiri ni kwa maana So say Jesus is my way Yesu ndiye njia yangu he is my way ndiye njia yangu not only is he just the way he is my way yesu siyo njia tu yeye ndiyo njia yangu you know he can be the way but not be your way anaeza kuwa njia na kwasa kuwa njia ya kwako but jesus is my way kwa hivyo yesu ndiye njia yangu jesus is my truth yesu ndiye ukweli wangu and jesus
Jesus is my life. Na Yesu pia ndiye uzima wangu. Those are the words that Jesus said to Thomas. Hayo ndio mambo ambayo Yesu alimwambia Tomaso. Now, sasa if you read in verse 8, ukisoma katika mstari wa 8, Philip uh, Philip naye tells Jesus something. Akamwambia Yesu kitu. He said, Lord show us the father akasema bwana tuonyeshe baba that is going to be enough for us hiyo itakuwa ya kutosha kwetu then jesus said to him na yesu akamwambia have i been with you all this long je si nimekuwa nanyi kwa muda huu wote and then you don't uh, 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 and then you are uh, you asking show us the father na sasa mnaniuliza kwamba nikaweza kumuonyesha baba whoever has seen me yeyote ambaye ameniona mimi has seen the father amemuona baba so he saying why are you asking us to show you the father anauliza kwa nini mwaniuliza ni waonyeshe baba was ten don't you believe that i am in the father mstari wa 10 anasema kwamba je hamuamini kwamba mimi niko katika baba and the father is in me na baba yuko ndani yangu that the words that i speak are not of myself na maneno ninayowaambieni ni siyasemi kwangu tu kwa mamlaka yangu the father that lives in me he speaking those words lakini baba aishie ndani mwangu anasema maneno haya believe me that i am in the father niamini o kwamba niko katika ndani ya baba and the father is in me na baba yu ndani mwangu or else just believe because of the miracles amini hata katika miujiza pia and so there is a conversation going on here kwa hivyo kuna maongezi mahali pale the first we saw thomas asking jesus to show them the way maongeo ya kwanza tumeona thomaso akimuuliza yesu kumuonyesha njia and then philip comes and says show us the father philipo naye pia anakuja anaambia yesu tuonyeshe baba so they are searching Aibu wanatafuta and they are asking na wanauliza maswali uh, there is something that they need to know kuna kitu ambayo nataka nijue praise the lord bwana mungu apewe sifa now i want to share with you something nataka nikuonyeshe kitu and then we shall make some prayer na tutafanya maombi uh, and god is going to answer our prayers today in jesus name na mungu atajibu maombi yetu siku ya leo katika jina la yesu Say amen. Amen. I said God will answer our prayer. Nimesema Mungu atajibu maombi yetu siku ya leo. In Jesus name. Katika jina kula Yesu. Glory be to God. Utukufu uwe kwa Mungu. You know many of us behave like Thomas. Unawe, kuna ukweza kuwa wengi wetu hapa kama Thomas. I have behaved like Thomas many times. Hata mimi nimekuwa kama Thomas kwa muda mrefu. You say what did Thomas do? Unauliza Thomas alifanya nini? When Jesus was speaking, Thomas what? did not pay attention. Wakati Yesu alikuwa akinena, Thomas hakuwa makini. And this is a problem na many hi, times. Na hii ndio shida tunakumbana nayo watu wengi kwa mara nyingi. We mimi. hear the words of God, tunasikiza maneno ya Mungu, but we don't think deeply about what the scripture is saying lakini hatufikiri undani wa ile maandiko inasema nini they are like mere words Tuna, tunakaa kama tunasikia maneno because in verse 6 katika mstari wa sita, jesus gave a very clear direct answer to the question of thomas yesu alipeana jibu la peupe kwa tomaso he said to thomas akamwambia tomaso when thomas asked how do we know the way wakati yesu ali tomaso alimuuliza tutajua aje njia thomas said i am the jesus said i am the way yesu akasema mimi ndimi njia i am the truth mimi ndio ukweli i am the life na mimi ndio uzima that's very direct hiyo ni jibu ambalo ni lawazi and that should solve every question in our life na hiyo inafai suluhishe kila swali katika maisha yetu but these people were not paying attention lakini watu hawa hawakuwa makini even after jesus said i am the way hata baada ya yesu kusema mimi ndiye njia they are still thinking there is another way bado wanafikiria kwamba kuna njia nyingine and that's why that's where many of us are 
na hivyo ndivyo wengi wetu walivyo many of us still think there is another way wengine wetu tunazidi kufikiria kwamba kuna njia mbadala we are in church tuko katika kanisa but we are still looking for another way eh, lakini bado tunatafuta njia zingine za mikato za kando kando we are not fully persuaded hatuna ani hatuna ile kukusudi kamili all the questions that we have katika maswali yote tulio nayo have been answered by the statement of jesus i am the way yameweza kujibiwa na lile neno yesu alisema mimi ndiye njia it's amazing how people can come into a service like this watu wanapokuja katika ibada kama hii with questions wanakuja na maswali with difficulties wakikuja na ugumu with problems wanakuja na mashida with sickness wakikuja na magonjwa and, and the preacher is teaching anamhubiri anafundisha but they are thinking of what they need to go and do after the service and lakini wanafikiria kile ambacho wanastahili kufanya ili wapate uponyaji wa hali yao connect whatever is being taught how as they answer to whatever they are looking for hawaunganishi ya kwamba kile wanachotafuta kiko katika mahubiri ambayo yanafundishwa they are like thomas wako kama thomas we don't know the way hawajui njia and yet the way is talking to them na njia inawaongelesha Jesus is the way Yesu ndiye njia but they are still saying how can we know the way lakini bado wanauliza je tutajuaje njia the way they are looking for is talking to them na ile njia wanaitafuta ndio inaongea na wao look at your neighbor and tell them what are you looking for angalia jirani yako muulize ni njia gani unatafuta tell them are you aware that whatever you are looking for is already here je unatambua ya kwamba kile unachotafuta kiko hapa tayari that which you are trying to find is already here kile ambacho unajaribu kutafuta tayari kipo hapa jesus is already that way yesu tayari yeye ndio hiyo njia Jesus is already that answer Yesu tayari ndio ilo jibu That's why I said declare Jesus you are my way Ndio sababu nilisema ukiri kwamba Yesu ndiye njia yangu Jesus you are my life Yesu wewe ndio uzima wangu Jesus you are my truth wewe ndio ukweli wangu So don't listen to this message Kwa hivyo usisikize huu ujumbe I still think pastor when are you going to finish the sermon because I need to find a way out of whatever I'm dealing with. Now this what? is the way. Unaanza kujiuliza kwamba pastor utamaliza saa ngapi nitafute njia mbadala? Na ukicha nikwambie hii ndio njia. I'm having so many things going on I need to go find a way. Ati kuna mambo mengi inaendelea nataka niende nitafute njia ingine. To solve all these things. Kusuluhisha mambo haya. To deal with these challenges. Kushughulikia uh, changamoto hili. Jesus said I am the way. Yesu akasema mimi ndimi njia. And Philip says show us the father na filipo akasema tuonyeshe baba and jesus said i've been with you all this time yesu akamwambia tumekuwa na nyinyi huu muda wote talking to you all the time nimekuongelesha waongelesheni wakati wote if you have seen me you have seen the father ukiniona mimi umeona baba how can you tell us show us the father na tena unaweza uuliza aje kwamba nionyeshe baba always with you nimekuwa kila wakati na look at verse 9 have been with you so long Nimekuwa nanyi kwa muda mrefu yet you have not known me na hata hamjanitambua and you are still saying show us the father na bado mnaniuliza niwaonyeshe baba let me tell you a truth wacha nikwambie ukweli the earlier it sings the better amen the earlier it sings the better yani kwa mapema inavyozama ndani mwako ndio vizuri whatever you are looking for is here chochote unachokitafuta kimo katika biblia You see that thing you're looking for. Unajua kile kitu unachokitafuta kimo katika hiyo Biblia. Amen. That answer you're looking for. Hilo jibu unalolitafuta limo katika Biblia. That way is here. Hiyo njia imo katika hiyo Biblia. Jesus says to Philip. Yesu akamwambia Filipo I have been with you so long. Nimekuwa nanyi kwa muda mrefu. Now people here you've been in the Lord for so long. Kuna watu hapa umekuwa katika Bwana kwa muda mrefu. Yet you have not yet realized that whatever you're asking for is here. Na hata hujawahi tambua kwamba kile unachokitafuta kimo katika hiyo maandiko. Whatever is stressing you day and night is here. Chochote kinachokutesa unatafuta katika maisha kimo katika hiyo maandiko. Kwa to your fear is here. Suluhisho la uoga limo katika Biblia. I like the way you're looking at me. You still don't believe. I'm telling you. Ninafurahia jinsi unavyoangalia. Your confusion is here. 
Mwisho wa kutojielewa kwako kumwa katika maandiko. The medicine for your marriage is here. Uh, dawa ya ndoa yako imo katika maandiko. The healing for your children is here. Uponyaji wa watoto this, wako uko katika hiyo maandiko. Hiyo ndiyo njia. Amen. And Jesus is looking at them talking to them. Na Yesu anawatazama akiongelesha. But they are not connecting. Na hawaunganishi. Now listen to this. Sikiza hii. Declare in Jesus name. Tangaza katika jina la Yesu. I connect. Ninaunganika. There are things from today you should not say anymore. Kuna vitu kuanzia siku ya leo haufai kuwa unayasema tena. From today Wanzia siku ya leo tell yourself jiambie there is always a way kila wakati kuna njia let's now start talking tell your neighbor let's start talking now ambia jirani yako acha tuanze kuongea sasa tell yourself from today jiambie kuanzia leo i always have a way kila wakati niko na njia tell yourself there is always a way kuna wa, njia kila wakati You can be with Jesus. Awezi kuwa na Yesu and say I don't know what to do there is no way. There is a way. Useme sijui cha kufanya hakuna njia kuna njia. So pastor where is the way? Jesus is the way. Mchungaji njia iko wapi? Yesu ndiye njia. Are you serious? Yes I am. Unamaanisha ndio unamaanisha. I said yes I am. Jesus is the way. Yesu ndiye njia. And I'm going to show you how Jesus is the way. Ninatukuonyesha kuhusu Yesu ndiye njia. So from today, kwa hiyo kuanzia siku ya leo, don't say usianze kusema there is no way. Ya kwamba hakuna njia. In every situation, katika kila hali, say like this. Sema hivi, Jesus, Yesu is my way. Ndiyo njia yangu. Shout it, Jesus is my way. Sema kwa nguvu Yesu ndiyo njia yangu. I can't hear you, Jesus is my way. Sija kusikia, Yesu ndiyo njia yangu. Jesus is my truth. Yesu ndiyo ukweli wangu Jesus is my life Yesu ndiye uzima wangu Therefore it is well Kwa hivyo mambo yote yako sawa Somebody say hallelujah Mtu aseme hallelujah Let me show you six ways Jesus is your way Wacha nikuonyeshe njia sita za kuonyesha Yesu ndiye njia And if you find yourself in any circumstance Ya kwamba ukijipata katika hali yoyote Tell yourself Jiambie mwenyewe Jesus is my way Ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ndiye njia yangu Are you a single mother Amen. Are you a single mother? Wale wa mama wako peke yao. You don't know how you're going to raise up your children. Haujui jinsi utakavyokomanisha watoto wako. Yes, is a school fees for those children. Yes, ndio kara ya shule kwa hao watoto. I like the way you are looking at me like you're so smart. Jesus, say, Jesus is a school fees for your children. Yes, ndio kara ya shule kwa hao watoto. Say, Pastor, Jesus school fees, school fees Jesus. Jesus is the way. Yes, ndio njia. Jesus is the food. Yesu ndiyo chakula. Jesus is the clothes. Yesu ndiyo kila. Jesus is the shelter. Yesu ndiye nyumba. It shall be well with you and your children. Itakuwa vyema na wewe na watoto wako. You're saying I don't know where will I find a way to raise Asema children. Sema nitapata njia. Jesus njia. is the way. Yesu ndiye njia. And it shall be well with you. Amen. This message I'm sharing with you Ujumbe une nao shiriki pamoja na changed my life Ilibadilisha maisha yangu Jesus is the way Yesu ndiye njia The first thing you need to remember Kitu kimoja unachokitaka kujua According to 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13 Sawa sawa na Wakorintho wa kwanza sura ya 10 mstari wa 13 And you begin to receive your miracles right now in Jesus name Na utaanza kupata miujiza wako sasa hivi Begin to receive breakthroughs in Jesus name Anza kupata miujiza yako Begin to receive divine help in Jesus name. Anda kupata usaidizi wako kwa jina la God is already moving. Baraka za Mungu zinaanza kutembea. Over God's world. Malaika wanatembea wakitazama neno la Mungu kulitimiza. No. Unaweza kosa kujua every temptation. Ya kwamba katika kila majaribu. What is a temptation? Majaribu ni nini? A difficult trial that you're dealing with. Hali ngumu ambayo unapitia ndani. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10:13. Maandiko yanasema katika Wakorintho wa kwanza 10:13. No temptation has overtaken you. Ya kwamba kila majaribu unayoingia ndani except whatever is common to men. Aita kushinda But God is faithful. Lakini Mungu ni mwaminifu. He will not allow you to be tempted. Hata kuruhusu kaweze kujaribiwa. Beyond what you are able to bear. Zaidi ya uwezo wako. But will with the temptation. Lakini wakati katika majaribu. Make a way for you to escape. Mungu anafanya njia ya wewe kuepuka. Somebody say way. 
njia of escape njia ya kuepuka that way of your escape is hiyo jesus hiyo njia ya kuepukana na matatizo ndio yesu if you are going through a trial right ukipitia now ukipitia wakati huu and you can see how you can deliver yourself na uwezi ona jinsi unavyoweza kujikomboa i have tested this word nimejaribu haya maandiko i know that this thing works na ninajua kwamba mambo haya yanafanya kazi dealing with a situation kama unakumbana na hali you don't know how you will get yourself out na ujui jinsi ya kujitoa katika hiyo hali there is a way of escape kuna njia ya kuondoka god is gonna cause circumstances to favor you so that you come out of that situation in jesus name mungu atathababisha hali ambayo itakupendelea ili ukaweze kutoka katika hiyo majaribu lift up your voice and say jesus is my way of escape inua sauti yako na useme yesu ndiye njia yangu ya kujikomboa i am coming out of this mess ninatoka i am coming out of this confusion ninatoka katika confusion i am coming out of this trial ninatoka katika majaribu haya i am coming out of this challenges ninatoka katika changamoto there is a way kuna njia jesus is a way yesu ndiye njia i am not looking for another way siangalii njia zingine i am not praying for god to send another way siombi mungu akalete njia nyingine i already have a way kwa sababu niko na njia tayari yes so i declare in this service in jesus name kasa katika ibada iko jina la yesu that door has been opened ya kwamba milango imefunguka is jesus christ milango huo ni yesu kristo is the way of escape hiyo ndio njia ya kuepuka what you are dealing with now chochote ambacho unacho Kesa and you feel like you cannot deliver yourself. Unahisi kwamba uwezi kujikomboa. Jesus is a way of escape. Yesu ndio njia ya kujikomboa. He will come out with a testimony. Utatoka na ushuhuda. I said you will come out with a testimony. Utatoka na ushuhuda. He will come out without shame. Utatoka bila aibu. He will not even smell the smoke. Uta atakuwa na harufu ya moyo. There shall be no scratch on your body. Hakutakuwa na hata alama kwa mwili wako. Because Jesus said I am the way. Kwa sababu Yesu alisema mimi ndimi ndio begin to be delivered right now by faith in Jesus Christ. I command things to come together. Ninaamrisha vitu kuja pamoja. So God are watching over God's word. Aika wanaangalia neno la Mungu. After this service. Baada ya ibada hii. Some things will begin to happen in your life. Things itaanza kufanyika katika maisha yako. Look like coincidences. Angalikinakata. We are provoking the supernatural. Lakini tunaamrisha Jesus is not dead is alive. Sababu Yesu hajakufa yuko hai. Jesus is the way. Na Yesu ndiye you yeah. are coming out of that trial you are coming hali. out of that mess you are coming hali. out of that situation Jesus is the way yes, I say Jesus is the way Nasema, yes, somebody say I receive it come on declare I receive it come on declare I receive it hallelujah amen Jesus is the way yes, when Shadrach comes Meshach and Abednego Wakati Shadrach Meshach na Abednego were thrown into the furnace Walitupwa katika tanuri ya moto It look like there is no way Ilikaa kana kwamba hakuna njia But what happened Lakini nini kikafanyika The way went into the furnace Njia ikaingia katika moto It appeared like the fourth man in the fire Ile njia ikakaa kama mtu wa nne katika moto Where there is no way Hata mahali ambapo hakuna njia Come into that furnace Njia yenyewe itakuja katika moto kama there is no way the way so wakati hakuna njia njia itakuja receive the word of god by faith utafaulu katika neno la mungu kwa imani so don't tell me pastor usiniambie pastor my case is special ya kwamba kesi yangu ni special I stop making those kind of situ- uh, confessions acha kufanya kukiri kama huko your case is not special ya kwamba kesi yako your ni case special. is not different kesi yako sio tofauti kesi yako can be handled inaweza shughulishwa na Yesu Kristo kesi yako can be handled inaweza shughulishwa na upako wa roho mtakatifu kesi yako can be handled inaweza shughulishwa by the grace of god i declare right now in jesus name sasa katika jina la Yesu even in that furnace ya kwamba hata katika ile tofauti utapata njia njia ilikuja for in jesus 
Jesus name every word into your life shall come away exactly where you are mahali ambapo upo come now in Jesus name let the angels of God to be activated let there be a way right now into that situation that way is manifesting it is is your word will save it because there will be a manifestation you will have a testimony you will see God you will see the hand of God something you have not expected is going to happen because the word of God is forever settled in heaven and God is not a man that he should lie I said there is a way that came right into the furnace the way it came they were delivered so shall you be delivered now the god of us name katika jina la yesu somebody say hallelujah mtu sema hallelujah they took daniel walimchukua daniel they threw him in the lions den tupa katika tundu la simba they said it was finished wakasema imekwisha how can he come out hawezi toka huyo mtu let me tell you something lakini wacha nikwambie the way came njia alikuja and shut the mouth of the lions na kafunga midomo ya Simba. If you cannot see the way kama ukazi kuona njia shall come njia atakuja kwa sababu ya sababu ya sababu ni the door ambali does not need a door ambaye alihitaji mlango aliwaka mlango to come and deliver you akaweza kukomboa when they shut the door anaweza funga mlango and they shut the windows wafunga na madirisha jesus appeared e yesu kusa because is the door akaingia he is the way kwa sababu yeye ndio mlango wa the supernatural amen katika god is a man mungu sio mwanadamu there will be somebody in this service amen that must have a testimony lazima awe na ushuhuda kwa sababu ya preaching amen because this is the word of god i am talking to people today okay kwa watu sikia leo see a way awezi kuona njia za jesus wase ni kuambia kwa yesu atakuja sa do kwa kwa hii ni sa way ye ndio njia ya miracle kutakuwa na miracle sasa say yes mungu sema ndio amen praise the lord amen Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. After Jesus was buried, baada Yesu kuzikwa, the disciples were afraid. Wanafunzi wa Yesu walikuwa na uoga because of the Jews they shut the doors, shut the windows. Thomas was absent. Ah walikuwa na wasiwasi kwa sababu ya milango, waliona milango zimefunga. Then Jesus stood in their midst. Yesu akasimama katikati yao. How did he come? alikuja kwa njia gani he is the way kwa sababu yeye ndiye njia you will see a miracle utaona miujiza i said you will see a miracle utaona miujiza somebody here will see a miracle mtu hapa ataona miujiza i will will appear where there was nothing njia itakuja mahali hakukua na kitu i declare in the name of jesus kwa katika jina la yesu kristo that a way shall appear ya kwamba njia atakuja a way shall appear njia atakuja i said a way shall appear nasema njia because a way is a path kwa sababu njia ni mtu na huyo mtu ni Yesu Kristo they have shut your door wamefunga mlango they have shut your window wamefunga madirisha they have shut your hair wamefunga hata gate yote but i declare in this service katika ibada hii that jesus christ ya kwamba Yesu Kristo shall appear in your situation atakuja katika hali ya kwesta door Yesu ndiye mlango is a way Yesu ndiye njia and that way is appearing na hiyo njia inakuja na hapa sasa katika manifestation katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa power of the Holy Ghost kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu katika manifestation tangaza kutakuwa na mli by the power of the Holy Spirit kwa nguvu za Yesu Kristo as a let there be a manifestation kutakuwa na dhiriko by the power of the Holy Spirit kwa nguvu za Yesu Kristo somebody say hallelujah tutasema hallelujah i want you to look at this scripture nataka tuangalie haya maandiko in the book of john because it's in my spirit katika kitabu cha Yohana sababu iko ndani ya moyo wangu I want, to, I want to show you this in John chapter 19 Yohana uh, 19 This is a word for somebody Hii ni neno la mtu Hallelujah Go with me Enda pamoja nami Also go with me Amen John chapter 19 Yohana 19 chapter chapter 
20 and verse 19 a Yohana mlango wa 20 mstari wa 19 The Holy Spirit is speaking to people right now. Roho mtakatifu ananiongelesha wakati huu. Maybe it's not you but it must be your neighbor. Amen. Anaweza kosa kuwa wewe lakini akuwe jirani yako. The same day the Bible says in the evening the first day of the week when the doors were shut. Nasema wakati milango zilifungwa. The disciples were assembled. A Wa, wa, wanafunzi wa Yesu waliweza kukusanyika for the fear of the Jews kwa sababu waliwaogopa wa Yahudi then Jesus came Yesu akaja and stood in their midst akasimama katikati yao he said peace be with you akasema amani iwe pamoja nanyi how did he come Yesu alikuja aje the doors are shut na kwa sababu kulikuwa kumefungu Jesus came lakini Yesu akaja because he is the door kwa sababu yeye ndiye mlango because he is the way kwa sababu yeye ndiye njia you came to this service you are watching ulikuja kwa njia kwa kanisa unatazama na milango zako zimefungwa and your windows are shut madirisha yako yamefungwa Jesus is the door lakini Yesu ndiye mlango and Jesus is the way na Yesu ndiye njia and he shall appear. I said the way is appearing. In the next seven days somebody we shall experience a supernatural. Somebody shall see the glory of God. Somebody shall see the power and the mercies of God in your life because Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Amen. Whoever shut your doors, your neighbor and tell them, Unajipatia kazi bure. Shutting my doors is wasting your time. Whoever Ambiye shut your doors was wasting your time. Muda. Whoever shut your doors in the business was wasting biashara. your time. Are you Alikuwa ready for this? Muda. Uko I said, hii. are you ready for this? Uko because hii. when the Son of God wants to visit your life, he does not yako. need a human door. Email. He is the door by himself. Email. He does not need your way or my way. Email. He can come by himself because Jesus Jesus is the way. Yes, he is going to show up in your life Amen. and bless you in a way that people cannot expect. Is that your word? Amen. Say yes. Yes. Somebody say, My Jesus is but showing up. Yes, wangu anadhiurika. Look at your neighbor and tell them you can shut even the chimney. You can shut the door. You can, you can, door. Door. You can spoil my name. You can talk to people not to help me. But I tell you today in Jesus' name that you serve a God. Amen. Amen. Somebody say 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 amen. Somebody is the way. Kwa sababu yeye ndiye njia. Receive your way today. Kwa njia yako siku ya leo. Jesus mighty name. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. It is not over. Itaisha. Because that door was shut. Kwa sababu yeye njia itafunguliwa. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Your way. Yeye ndiye njia yako. You shall come out of that situation. Utakuwa katika hiyo hali. With a powerful testimony. Utakuwa na ushuhuda. I have seen the Lord. Nimeona Bwana. Jesus is the way. Yesu ndiye njia. Somebody say hallelujah. Mutusema hello. Somebody say hallelujah. Mutusema hallelujah. Those of you who were in the service last Sunday. Watle wale okwa katika ibada jumapili yoyisha. You know we've been declaring to this building is finished. Tuli tangazia ili jumba kwamba limeisha. And at times you don't even know how it's gonna be. Na wakati tulifikiria agita wezekana. But somebody last Sunday. Lakini mtu jumapili liopita. Gave one million shillings. Alipeana milioni moja. To that building. Kwa jumapili. So shall your breakthrough come. Upenya wako utakuja hivyo. So shall your breakthrough come. Upenya wako utakuja hivyo. Somebody say yes. Mutu sema ndiyo. I am talking to people. Ninaongelesha watu. That the devil has been talking to. Ambao shatani ya mekua kiongelesha. That your doors are shut. Ya kwamba milango yako ikifungwa. And you shall never find help. Ya kwamba utapata usaidisi. Listen to me. Nisikisa mimi. Every door that has been shut. Kila mulango ambao uko umefungwa. Has been shut to human beings. Umefungwa kwa kukonji ya moja. But it cannot be shut to God. Lakini ya iwezi fungwa kwa mungu. This week. 
wiki hii God will come Mungu atakuja this week God Nimesema will come. hii wiki Mungu atakuja You shall see him Utamuona Mungu You shall experience him Utamuona Mungu You shall see his power Utaona nguvu zake You shall see his glory Na utaona utukufu wake Somebody say yes Mtu sema ndio Somebody say hallelujah Mtu sema hallelujah There is somebody in this service Kuna mtu katika ibada hii A young lady in this service Am dada mdogo katika ibada hii You've been wanting to go back to school Umekuwa ukiataka kuenda shule But you can't see a way Lakini hauoni njia You can't see how you go to school Hauoni jinsi utakavyoenda shule In my spirit Katika roho yangu I have a word for you Niko na neno kwa ajili yako You must go back to school Ya kwamba unataka kurudi shule And there's no way Na kuna kuonekana kuna njia Mwaka huu shall not end Haitaisha You shall be in school Utakuwa shuleni Because Jesus Kwa sababu Yesu shall show up Atajidhihirisha to the way Aye ndio njia He is the way Yeye ndio njia Say hallelujah Hallelujah Look at your neighbor and tell them I am escaping. Angalia jirani yako mwambie nina epuka. Tell your neighbor I am escaping. Ambia jirani yako nina epuka. Tell your neighbor I am Ambia jirani yako nina epuka. Tell your neighbor I am escaping. Ambia jirani yako nina epuka. Jesus is the way. Yesu ndiye njia. Praise the Lord. Bwana Mungu apewe sifa. Asante praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asante hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. He is the way. Yeye ndiye njia. So if you find yourself. Kwa hivyo ukichipata in situation katika hali you don't know what to do. Haujui cha kufanya. Jesus. Yesu is your way. Ndiyo njia yako. You will escape. Utaepuka. If men kama wanadamu shut doors. Wanafunga so that you cannot be helped. Wanafunga milango yako ili usiweze kusaidika. Leave them alone. Waachane na wao. Men can shut doors because men manufacture doors. Wanadamu wanaweza funga milango kwa sababu wao ndio wanatengeneza hizo milango. But Jesus does not need a human door. Lakini Yesu hahitaji mlango wa mwanadamu. He comes. Yeye anakuja tu. And he shall come. Na atakuja tu. And you will see him. Na utamuona right in the midst of your shut life. Katikati ya maisha yako iliyofungwa. You will see Jesus. Utamuona Yesu. And I like what he said. Na napenda kile kitu ambacho alisema. He said peace. Anasema amani be unto you. Iwe pamoja nanyi. Receive the peace of God right now. Pokea amani ya Bwana wakati huu. No matter how things look like. Haijalishi vitu zinakaa jinsi gani. The way is coming. Njia anakuja. I want you to leave this service today encouraged in your heart. Nataka utoke katika ibada hii ukiwa umetiwa moyo. No matter how it looks like. Ya kwamba haijalishi inakaa jinsi gani. You came into the service crying. Ulikuja kwa ibada hii ukilia. But you are about to leave this service. Lakini uko karibu kuondoka katika ibada hii ukiwa na furaha be with you Aman iwe pamoja nawe It shall be well concerning that Itakuwa vyema na maisha yako Because Jesus is Kwa sababu Yesu Kristo yuko pamoja nawe Hallelujah Hallelujah Number two thing I want to remind you Jambo la pili nataka nikukumbushe That's why you have to constantly say Jesus is my way Yeye inaweza kusababisha kujua kwamba Yesu ndiye njia yangu Isaiah 43 and verse 19 Isaiah 43 mstari wa 19 Isaiah 43 and verse 19 Isaiah 43 mstari wa Behold, I will do a new thing. Ya kwamba tazama ninafanya kitu kipya. Now it shall spring forth. Sasa hivi itachipuka. Shall you not know it? Je, hujawahi kuiona? There is a version that says I will even make a way, not a way. Kuna kuna nakala ambayo inasema hata nitafanya njia. I will make a way. Nitafanya njia in the wilderness. Katika jangwa. Lift up your hand and say Jesus you are my way in the wilderness. You are. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu katika jangwa. Inua mkono wako ukaweza kurudia hayo. I am not going to die in this wilderness. Sitakufa katika jangwa hili. My body shall not decay in this wilderness. Jesus. Yesu. In the wilderness. Katika jangwa. He is my way. Yeye ndiyo njia yangu. Are you dealing with wilderness? Je, unakumbana na jangwa? Are you dealing with desert? Je, unakumbana na jangwa? Yesu. Is the way. Yeye ndiye njia. In 
wilderness. Katika hilo jangwa. Jesus has become your way. Yesu amefanyika njia. Whatever that wilderness represents in your life, Haijali, it doesn't matter. Haijalishi hiyo jangwa ni nji, ni nini katika maisha yako. Financially you're going through wilderness. Inaweza kuwa unapitia katika hali ya kipenda. Spiritually you're going through wilderness. Katika kiro unapitia katika jangwa. Your marriage is going through wilderness. Ndoa yako inapita katika jangwa. Your business is going through wilderness. Biashara yako inapita katika jangwa. It doesn't matter. Haijalishi in the wilderness. Katika jangwa. Change your confession. Badilisha kukiri kwako. When people are talking about you dying in the wilderness. Utakufa katika jangwa. They say you shall never make it. Wanasema hautafaulu. Hey. Hey. You will come out of the wilderness alive. Wewe utatoka katika jangwa ukiwa hai. Whatever you're going through shall become your testimony. Chochote unachopitia kitakuwa ni ushuhuda. The mess shall become your message. Eh, kila 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 hali itakuwa ni ujumbe kwako. In the wilderness. Na katika ujangwa. There is a way. Kuna njia. Not a road, a way. Sio barabara ni njia. Jesus. Na Yesu is that way. Ndiye ile njia. In the wilderness. Katika jangwa. So change your confession kwako original king james version says a way a king way, james a version inasema njia sio barabara njia njia are you dealing with wilderness je unakumbana na hali you that is listening to this story wewe ambao unasikiza ujumbe huu are you dealing with the wilderness je unakumbana na hali listen sikiza you will not be like the children of israel hautakuwa kama watoto wa israeli they said to Moses, you have brought us in this wilderness to die. Wakasema kwamba umetuleta kaile katika ile jangwa tukafe. Jesus went through a wilderness himself. Yesu mwenyewe alipita katika jangwa mwenyewe. Did he die? Alikufa? So shall you not die in that wilderness. Na wewe hautakufa katika jangwa. Amen. Your business will not die. Biashara yako haitakufa. Your finances will not die. Fedha zako hazitakufa. Your marriage will not die. Ndoa yako haitakufa. Your children, children shall not die. Watoto wako hawatakufa. The devil is a liar. Shetani ni mwongo. In your wilderness. Katika jangwa. There is a way. Bado kuna njia. I pray right now in Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. The eyes of your understanding. Ya kwamba macho yako ya kuelewa yakafunguke ile jangwa is meant to destroy you imeafanya ili kaweza kuharibu lakini unatoka katika ile jangwa with a testimony ukiwa na ushuhuda faithfulness of god kwa 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 mungu i don't know who i'm talking to but there must be somebody in this sijui ni nani naongelesha lazima kukuwa na mtu katika ibada hii right in the middle of the wilderness ambaye yuko katikati ya jangwa you didn't even feel like coming to church hata hukusikia na kwamba kuja kanisani totally discouraged yani ulikuwa umevunjika moyo you are giving up wewe ulikuwa unakufa moyo you are no longer excited about the things of god yani ufurahi tena mambo ya mungu that is wilderness hiyo ni jangwa you wonder what it means to serve unajiuliza inamaanisha nini kutumika you have been giving but things are falling apart ya kwamba vitu zinaenda kando kando katika maisha yako hiyo ni jangwa but in the wilderness lakini katika hilo jangwa god has already made a way Mungu amefanya njia. Jesus is that way. Mungu ndiyo hiyo njia. So declare with me one more time I will not die. Tangaza pamoja nami kwanza sitakufa. In this wilderness. Katika hili jangwa. To look at a good neighbor and tell them I am coming out of this wilderness. Angalia alive. angalia jirani mzuri mwambie ninatoka katika jangwa hili. I said look at a good neighbor and tell them I'm coming out. Nimesema angalia jirani yako mzuri mwambie ninatoka katika jangwa hili. Ninatoka because Jesus Kwa sababu Yesu is the way. Yeye ndiye njia. God has made. Ambaye Mungu amefanya. My children will not die. Watoto wangu watakufa. My business will not die. Biashara yangu haitakufa. My, my family will not die. Jamii yangu haitakufa. I know I am in the wilderness. Ninajua niko katika jangwa. I am coming out. Lakini ninatoka. Wait for me. Ningoje. Not in the mortuary. Enda kule mortuary. Wait for me. Ningoje. In the tent of testimony. Ningoje kwa ushuhuda. Because even in this wilderness. Jesus is the way. Yesu ndiye njia. Amen. Somebody say yes. Yes. We are not just excited. Hatujafurahia tu. We are not school children. Sisi sio wanafunzi wa shule. Grown ups. 
Sisi ni watu tumekoma. We are mature people. Sisi ni watu tumekoma. We know the God we are talking about. Tunajua Mungu tunayemwongelesha. This is not excitement. Hiso kitu ya kufurahisha tu. This is not emotional. Sio kitu ya kuchamsha. This place. Mtu mali hapa. You shall not die in the wilderness. Hautakufa katika chanzo. You shall declare Utatagasa. the faithfulness of God. You shall look at your grandchildren. You shall tell 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 your My soul escaped because even in the wilderness I shall live and not die. Jesus is my way. I refuse to die in the wilderness. My body shall not be the food of wild animals. I serve a living God. Therefore I, I issue a word in the spirit. If you are in the wilderness right now in Jesus name sasa hivi katika jina la Yesu unatoka sasa katika hiyo jangwa chochote kila maana that we shall not come out hautatoka shall be ashamed hautaibika wala ambao wanakudhiaki sasa wata because Jesus kwa sababu Yesu Jesus nasema Yesu is your way yeye ndio njia out of the wilderness kutoka katika jangwa they know wanajua you have no job hakuna kazi they know wanajua you don't have a relative hakuna mtu akusaidia wanajua you don't have any education hakuna masomo going to them ni angelesha you cannot survive hautaweza kuka this particular wilderness but there jangwa. is one thing they don't know lakini kuna kitu That you serve a living God. Ya kwamba unatumikia Mungu aliye hai. They forgot. Kuna kitu ambacho walisahau. That Jesus is not in the grave. Ya kwamba Yesu alikuwa. That Jesus Christ is alive. Yesu yuko hai. He is your way. Yeye ndio njia yako. He step into that wilderness. Amen. He is the way. Yeye ndio njia. You shall survive. Utaishi. Before I go to the next point, let me remind you. Acha nikukumbushe. When the Egyptians knew wakati wa Misri walijua ya kwamba wana wa Israeli walikuwa katika jangwa wakasema hata hivyo hata kama wameepuka hawataka hawataishi hakuna chakula kule jangwani hakuna maji kule jangwani Awana hata mahali ma, makazi ya huko. The heat will kill them. Ile joto ya huko itawamaliza. How will they survive in the Wataishi aje kule jangwani. But they didn't know. Lakini hawakujua. Jesus. Ya kwamba Yesu is the way. Yeye ndiye njia. In the wilderness. Katika jangwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He showed up. Akadhihirika as a pillar of cloud. Kama 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 wingu. By day kwa mchana the pillar of fire na kiwingo la moto by night kwa usiku he is the way yeye ndiyo njia he showed up akadhihirika as the rock that produce water in the wilderness kama mwamba uliotoa maji katika jangwa the Egyptians did not know that wa misri hawakujua hicho they are waiting for you on the other side walikuwa nakungojea kule with an evil report wakiwa na ripoti iliyo mbaya in the wilderness lakini katika jangwa there is a way Mungu anafanya njia. Water shall come. Maji yatakuja. Kuna njia. Food shall be there. Chakula kitaletwa. Kuna njia. You shall be preserved. Utawekwa vizuri. From the heat kutoka kwa moto. The cold. Kata baridi. Jesus. Yesu is the way. Ndio njia. Amen. Look at Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 11. Amen. Midhali 4 kumina... and verse 11 Midhali 4 kumina... moja. Read that scripture together one to go 
I have taught thee the way nimekufundisha njia ya hekima I have led you in the right path nimekuongoza katika njia nyoofu the bible says in the book of james maandiko inasema katika kitabu cha yakobo do you lack wisdom je unakosa hekima Whoever lacks wisdom yeyote anayekosa hekima he says let him ask mwambie yeye akaulize Jesus Yesu is your way ndio njia yako ya ya hekima you will not live foolish hautaishi kiujinga you cannot say hauwezi ukasema i was never educated ya kwamba mimi sikusoma so i lack wisdom ati nataka uhekima jesus yesu is your way to wisdom ndio njia yako ya hekima today siku ya leo a new level of wisdom is open to kiwango kipya cha hekima kimefunguliwa the bible says does any of you lack wisdom maandiko inasema je kuna mmoja wenu anakosa hekima let him ask god akaweze kumuomba mungu that gives to all men ambana peana kwa watu wote hekima and abraded not na anapeana katika utele it shall be given to him itapewa kwake he has already given us wisdom tayari ametupa hekima the bible says in the book of corinthians maandiko inasema katika wa korinzo that jesus christ na yesu kristo is the power of god yeye ndio nguvu za mungu and the wisdom God. Na yeye ndio hekima ya Mungu. I do you lack wisdom for a situation in your life? Je, unakosa hekima kwa hali katika maisha yako? Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo is your wisdom. Yeye ndio hekima yako. In that situation, katika hiyo hali, you shall make the right decision. Utafanya uamuzi ulio bora. Agree with the word of God. Ukikubaliana na neno la Mungu. I said you shall make the right decision. Kisema utafanya uamuzi ulio bora. Because Jesus Christ, kwa sababu Yesu Kristo is your wisdom. Yeye ndio hekima yako. And is the power of God. Na yeye ndio nguvu za Mungu. Do we be to God. Utukufu uwe kwa Mungu. He is your wisdom. Yeye ndio hekima yako. And the power of God. Na nguvu za Mungu. Do we be to God. Utukufu uwe Jesus kwa Mungu. Jesus is referred to as the wisdom of God in the scriptures. Yesu ndio hekima ya Mungu. Katika maandiko. He is called the wisdom of God. Yeye ndio hekima ya Mungu. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 24 wa Korinzo wa kwanza sura ya kwanza mstari wa 20 so Usikae pale na kuuliza mimi sijui cha kufanya wewe ndio uko na nguvu za kufanya hekima But to those called by God to salvation Na wale walioitwa kwa Mungu katika wokovu both Jews and Gentiles Wayahudi Yesu Kristo is the power of God yeye ndio nguvu za Mungu and the wisdom of God na hekima ya Mungu that's why we read the scripture in proverbs hiyo ndio kitu tumesoma katika midhali i have taught you in the way of wisdom ya kwamba nimekufundisha katika njia ya hekima you are receiving wisdom ways unapokea njia ya hekima that leads you into the right paths ambayo inakuelekeza katika njia nzuri and jesus from today is your wisdom na yesu kuanzia leo yeye ndio hekima yako therefore you will not make foolish moves kwa hivyo hautafanya mtembeo wa kiujinga say amen amen you shall not make foolish choices hautafanya uamuzi wa kiupumbavu and if you are in a situation right now na, na ukijipata katika hali kwa wakati huu require wisdom ambayo inahitaji hekima to navigate kwa ajili ya kupenya na kutoka declare with me jesus tangaza pamoja nami yesu so my way into wisdom wewe ndio njia yangu na hekima yangu wisdom that i need for my family hekima ambayo nahitaji kwa ajili ya familia yangu for my life kwa ajili ya maisha yangu for my business kwa ajili ya biashara yangu christ is my wisdom yesu kristo ndio hekima yangu jesus is my wisdom yesu yeye ndio hekima yangu jesus is my wisdom yesu ndio hekima yangu he is in 
my way in the wilderness. Yeye ndio njia yangu katika jangwa. He is my way of escape. Yeye ndio njia yangu ya kuepuka. He is my wisdom. Na yeye ndio hekima yangu. You will make wise moves in Jesus. Utafanya mtembeo ambao ni wa hekima katika maisha yako. You are going to make wise decisions in Jesus. Utafanya maamuzi ambayo ni ya hekima katika maisha yako. If you lack wisdom. Ukikosa hekima. Jesus can teach you the way of wisdom. Yesu anaweza kufundisha njia ya hekima. There are things I know. Kuna vitu ambazo nazijua. I have known some things. Na nimejua vitu kadhaa by the holy spirit kwa msaidizi wa roho mtakatifu not because i sat somewhere and somebody taught me sio sababu sio kwa sababu nilikaa mahali mtu akaniambia but you know the holy spirit can give you superior wisdom lakini unajua roho mtakatifu ni wa hekima ya hali ya juu you can understand situations unaweza perfectly. unaweza kuelewa hali kwa njia iliyo bora never say again usiseme tena i don't know what to do sijui cha kufanya say like this sema hivi i have the wisdom of god niko na hekima kima ya Mungu and I know what to do. Na najua kitu ambacho tunafanya. Vitu zinakuwa vizuri sasa. Is my wisdom. Yesu ndio hekima yangu. He's leading me in the paths of wisdom. Ananiongoza katika njia za hekima. I make the right decisions. Nafanya uamuzi ambao ni mzuri. I am full of his wisdom. Mimi nimejaa hekima ya Mungu. Kuna njia. Every situation in our life. Kila hali katika maisha yetu that requires a wisdom solution. Ambayo inahitaji hekima. That becomes your portion today. Hiyo inafanyika sehemu yako kayo katika jina la Yesu. Hiyo inafanyika sehemu yako katika jina la Yesu. Psalms 32 and verse 8. Zaburi 32 mstari wa 8. Number 5. This is Psalms 32 and verse 8. Azaburi 32 mstari wa 8 The Bible says I will instruct you Maandiko inasema kwamba nitakuamurisha wewe and I will teach you na nitakufundisha in the way that you should go kwa njia ambazo unafaa kuenda Somebody say divine guidance Asema uh, mwelekezo wa kipekee Divine guidance and direction Mwelekeo wa kipekee I will teach you the way you should go Nitakufundisha njia ambayo unapaswa kuenda I will guide you nitakuelekeza with my eye nitakuongoza kwa macho yangu in psalms 18 and verse 30 still on the same point psalms 18 zaburi 18. mstari wa 30 the bible says maandiko inasema as for god e kwa mungu his way is perfect njia yake ni kamilifu god's way is perfect njia ya mungu ni kamilifu the word of god is proven neno la mungu limedhibitika Who is the word of God? Nani ambaye ni neno la Mungu? John chapter 1 verse 1 it says and the, and, and the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was with God verse 14 and the word became flesh dwelt among us we beheld his glory the word is Jesus made flesh. Neno hili ni Yesu Kristo aliyefanyika mwili. So it says Hivyo inasema that the way of God is perfect. Njia za Mungu ni thabiti. And his word has been proven. Na neno lake limekamilishwa. Psalms 32 and verse 8. Zaburi 32 mstari wa 8. Psalms 18 and verse 30. Na Zaburi 18 mstari wa 30. So we can walk on this way. Hivyo tunaweza tembea katika njia hii. I said we can walk on this way. Nimesema tunaweza tukatembea katika njia hii. And our steps will not slide. Na hatua zetu zitateleza. Psalms 18 and verse 30. Zaburi 18:30 We can walk on this way. Tunaweza tembea katika njia hii. And we shall not miss it. Na hatutaikosa. God's way is perfect. Njia ya Mungu ni thabiti. This way is Jesus. Njia hii ni Yesu. Amen. David said. Daudi akasema, Abinian, nimekuwa kijana. Sasa ni mzee. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Sijawahi ona mwenye haki wa Mungu ameachwa. I've never seen his children begging for the bread. Wala sijawahi kuona watoto wake wakiomba omba mkate. Let me tell you this God's way. Wacha nikwambie hii. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. When the Bible says God's way is perfect. Wakati maandiko inasema njia ya Mungu ni thabiti, it means that. Inamaanisha hivyo. If you want to live a good life. Kama ukitaka kuishi maisha mazuri. Na unisikize, unisikize vizuri. Nisikize na unisikize vizuri. Ndio kisie, you say that. 
Amen. Eh? Look is here. Eh? Isn't that in Hebrew? Yeah. Learn Hebrew. <laughs> the Greek are all smiling. The Greek in this church, we have some Greek people, they are smiling. Amen. If you want to live a good life, I am telling you now as a father, I have lived longer than most of you. I know what I'm saying. If you want a good life, the way is God. If you have time to waste, Kama ulikuwa umeelekea kusi. If you still have time to waste. Kama uko bado uko na muda wa kupoteza. Try other ways. You still come back to what I've told you today. Endelea njia zingine utarudi kwa njia ukiwa na muda wa kupoteza. Manga manga do everything. You endelea kufanya vitu vingine lakini mwisho utarudi kwa hii. Come back to what I've told you. Utarudi kwa kile ambacho nimekuambia. God's way is perfect. Njia ya Mungu ni thabiti. Imekamilika. There is no any other perfect way on this earth. Hakuna njia ingine iliyo kamilifu katika ulimwengu huu. The only perfect way to walk is the way of God. Njia pekee iliyo kamilika ni njia ya Mungu. And that's a fact. Na hiyo ni ukweli. And this word. Na neno hili. Who is Jesus? Ambaye ni Yesu is proven. Imehakikishwa na imedhibitishwa. Jesus is tested. Ya kwamba Yesu amejaribiwa. Tried. Amejaribiwa. Guaranteed. Na amehakikishwa na kudhibitishwa. David said, I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Daudi akasema sijawahi ona mwenye haki ameachwa. Are you the one that will break God's record? Je, wewe ndio utavunja rekodi ya Mungu? David said I have never seen. Daudi akasema sijawahi kuona. Just for second. Mwenye haki ameachwa. Will God break his record with you? Wewe ndio utavunja rekodi. God's way is perfect. Njia ya Mungu inadhibiti. Ina, ina, I came my life to Jesus as a teenager. Nilikuja kwa Yesu nikiwa kijana. In a high school. Katika chuo kikuu cha high school. Do I have any regrets? Sijawahi jutia. No. Sijawahi jutia. If I'm to live my life again. Nikihitaji kuishi maisha yangu tena. I'll give my life to Jesus still as a teenager. Bado nitampa Yesu maisha yangu. This way is perfect. Hii njia ni thabiti. I see people say you know, let me go try and see what the world has to offer. Wacha niende nijaribu niona vile dunia hivyo. Things are going on in the world. Vitu zinakaa vizuri huko katika ulimwengu. Let me tell you before you go. Wacha nikwambie kabla ukaweza kwenda. Wacha nikwambie. And then you go get prove it. Wacha nikwambie nikusaidie na uende ukajaribu. Shame. Aibu. Pain. Uchungu. Hopelessness. Kuishi maisha yasioeleweka. Diseases. Magonjwa. Addictions. Ile kahali ya kuzoea. Last. Tama. That's what the world is going to offer you. Hiyo ndio vitu ambazo dunia itakupatia. Only that's what the world is going to offer you. Amen. But God's way is perfect. Lakini njia ya Mungu ni thabiti. That's what I'm telling you. Hiyo ndio kitu ninachokuambia. That's what I'm telling you. Hiyo ndio kitu ninakuambia. This year. Mwaka huu. This year. Mwaka huu. 35 years in the faith. Miaka 35 katika imani. I gave my life to Jesus. Some people mocked. They think it's a joke. Nilipa Yesu maisha yangu watu wengine wakagejeli wakafikiria ni mzaa. Now. Sasa hivi. You look at my life, you look at their life, there is no comparison. Unaangalia maisha yangu, unaangalia maisha yao, hakuna utofauti. Because God will keep you kwa sababu Mungu atakuweka vizuri. Unapata kitu unachosema. Mungu atakuweka vizuri. Mungu atakuweka vizuri. Wakati nilipata wakati nilipofika. Nikabado katika Mungu. Tunatumika katika Bwana. Na bado tunaendelea kutumika katika Bwana. Kwa sababu njia ya Mungu ni thabiti. Amen. And this word has been proved. Na neno hili limethibitishwa. That those that serve Jesus. 
ya kwamba wanao mtumikia Yesu are blessed wamebarikiwa generationally kizazi hadi kizazi generationally kizazi hadi kizazi when i walk on the road wakati ninapotembea kwenye barabara i don't look behind siangalii nyuma because there is nothing kwa sababu hakuna kitu cha kuangalia hakuna kitu kinanifuata amen and if you got anything on me bring it up amen did i say it well <laughs> you got me there is nothing to hide hakuna kitu cha kuficha nyuma there is nothing you are looking behind hakuna kitu unachokiangalia nyuma god's way is perfect maana njia ya mungu ni dhabiti you know why it's perfect before i conclude and he called the bit that way kwa sababu hiyo njia is a man is jesus ni yesu kristo and is perfect amen that's why if you choose his way kwa sababu ukichagua njia yake mambo well yote yatakuwa sawa na wewe I'm not saying challenges will not come the will Sijasema changamoto hazitakukujia but you will survive Lakini hata zikija utakuwa vizuri I get what I'm saying Umepata kile nimesema Utakuwa salama His way is perfect Njia zake ni dhabiti How many people are saying I'll, I take that way now Wangapi wanasema kwamba nataka hiyo njia? Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Sema na ujasiri Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. So stop looking for a way. Tell your neighbor ulifika what relax sasa. Kwa hivyo acha kutafuta njia. Ulishafika. Tell them to viatu hakuna kitu unaendelea kwenda kutafuta utarudi tu hapa tena ulize mwana mpotevu alichukua kila kitu akaenda that's why i told you outside there Ndio nilikwambia huko nje. Utaka kama mgeni. Ati mgeni. Mutus. You'll be treated like a pig. Utatumika kama ngurue. The world is not kind. Ulimwengu hauna huruma. Lift up your hands and say Jesus you are my way. Inua mkono wako sema Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. You are my perfect way. Wewe ndio njia yangu iliyo dhabiti. You are my perfect guidance. Wewe ndio udhabiti wangu wa mwelekeo. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16 is my last scripture. Jeremiah sita verse 16 is my Mstari wa 16 ndio maandiko ya mwisho. Let's read out that scripture together. One to go. Tusome kwa pamoja. That says the Lord. Asema Bwana, stand Simama in the ways and see katika njia ambazo unaziona as for the old path na ulize kwa njia listen za kitambo where the good way is mahali kuna njia nzuri ask uliza where there is a good way njia nzuri iko wapi there are ways kuna njia paths ambazo zina But there is a good way. Kunazo njia lakini kuna njia ambazo ni nzuri. Then he says something powerful. Anasema kitu kwa muhimu sana. Says when you know the good way. Unapojua njia nzuri. What are you supposed to do? Unahitaji kufanya nini? In it. Tembea katika hiyo njia nzuri. Then you will find rest for your souls. Utapata But you know what they said? Amen. And that's not what we are going to say today. They said we will not walk in it. Hatutatembea katika hiyo njia. People reject the way. Watu walikataa hiyo njia. The way that was going to give them rest for them. Njia ambayo ilikuwa inawaenda kuwapea amani na pumziko. Remember this God's people. Kumbuka hii watu wa Mungu. Jesus, Yesu 
is your way ndiye njia yako into eternal rest ya kuingia katika upumuziko la milele now listen sikiza when people hear eternal rest they think die wakati watu wanaposikia pumuziko la milele wanafikiria ni kukufa you know there are some people when they died is when they have never rested ah kuna watu wanafikiria kufa ndio kupumuzika We, we assume everybody who dies is resting. Ati wacha pumzike. Nani alikuambia? Kuna watu tangu afe hajawahi pumzika na hata wai pumzika. Amen. Just because somebody is dead in the coffin with blood size like this ationa vile amepumzika. Nani? Ati kwa sababu mtu ako katika sanduku anasema sasa huyu amepumzika. Rest is where your soul. Do you see what the Bible says? Soul. Then you'll find rest for your soul, not body. Soul. Pumuziko ni mahali ambapo nafsi yako. Nafsi. The only way your soul rests. Mahali pekee ambacho nafsi yako inapumzika. Sio mwili wako. Body will be put in the grave. Mwili utawekwa kaburini. They say he has rested. Anasema amepumzika. Apana The soul is eternal. Nafsi yako ni iko ndani. Eternal. Ni ile pumziko la milele. And the only way the soul rests is when we find ourselves in the way. Na njia pekee ambayo nafsi zetu zinapumzika ni wakati tunajipata katika njia ambayo ni Yesu. Let me tell you when eternal rest starts. Wacha nikwambie wakati pumziko la milele nafikia linaanza. Sio wakati unapokufa. Wakati unapopokea Yesu Kristo. Eternal rest starts. Hapo ndio kunaanzia pumziko la milele. Not when you die. Sio wakati unapokufa. When you come to a place where you receive Jesus Christ. Wakati unapofikia kiwango unapokea Yesu Kristo, you rest. Unapata pumziko. Just to know Jesus is their way. He's their way into rest. Yesu ndiye njia katika pumziko. You don't have to die to rest. Hauhitaji kukufa ili uwe umepumzika. Today you can find rest for your soul. Leo hivi utaweza pata pumziko ya nafsi yako. Look at this scripture in Matthew chapter 11. Angalia maandiko haya katika Matthew Mathayo 11. Those of you that are following live. Wale ambao wanatutazama katika mtandao. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Mathayo 11:28. Jesus said, "Come unto me." Yesu akasema, "Njooni kwangu ninyi." All you that labor. Nyota msumbukao. You are carrying burdens. Na kulemewa na mizigo. I will give you rest. Nami nitawapa pumziko. Not when you die. Amen. Sio kwamba utakufa. Jesus is your way. Yesu ndiyo njia yako ya kuingia katika pumziko ya kweli. Are you heavy laden? Je, umebebeshwa na mizigo? Are you carrying burdens? Je, umebeba mizigo? Are you exhausted? Je, umechoka? Are you fatigued? Je, ume, umechoka kabisa? Are you tired? Umechoka kabisa na maisha? Do you sleep and you can't even sleep? Amen. Because you're tired. Kwa sababu umechoka. Jesus Yesu is your rest. Ndiyo pumziko lako. He is your rest. Yeye ndiyo pumziko lako. Say with me Jesus. Sema nami Yesu is my rest. Ndiyo pumziko langu. Jesus. Yesu is my Sabbath. Ndiyo sabato yangu. Jesus. Yesu is my peace. Ndiyo amani yangu. I'm talking to all of you here who have no rest. Ninaongelesha nyinyi wote ambao hauna amani. Watching and you have no rest. Unanitazama na hauna amani. Jesus is your way. Yesu ndio rest. Yesu ndiyo njia yako ya kupata pumziko. Don't be like those people we read in Jeremiah chapter 6. They were saying this is the good way. They say we will not walk in it. Ah uh, usikue kama watu ambao tumepata katika Jeremiah sita ya kwamba hii ndio njia nzuri lakini hatutaingia katika hiyo njia. They said look for the old ways, turn in the ways, look at the paths and find where the good way is. Anasema way. angalia katika njia zote na tafuta mahali ambapo kuna njia nzuri. They say when you find it. Na ukisha ipata, ingia katika hiyo njia. Then, 
you'll find rest na hapo katika hiyo njia utapata pumziko wanasema hatutatembea katika hiyo njia where will you find rest utapata wapi pumziko unless you walk in the good way e wapo tu kama hautatembea katika njia nzuri the good way is jesus Christ. njia nzuri nayo ni yesu pekee praise be to god bwana mungu apewe sifa want you to close your eyes who want to pray nataka ufunge macho yako tunataka tuombe we are going to make some two kinds of prayer tutafanya maombi aina mbili but first close your eyes in lakini ya kwanza funga macho those of you that are watching wala ambao mnatutazama katika mtandao as i close this service today napofunga ibada hii siku ya leo i ask this question nataka niulize swali hili in the sanctuary katika gaekalo and those that are watching from na, wherever they are na wale watching. pia wanao tutazama katika mtandao kote kote ulimwenguni jesus said i am the way yesu akasema mimi ndimi njia i am the truth i am the life mimi ndio ukweli na uzima He is your way. Yeye ndio njia yako. The Bible says that good way. Maandiko yanasema yeye ndio njia nzuri. For there is a way that looks right in the eyes. Maana kuna njia ionekanayo nzuri machoni pa mtu. But the end of that way is Lakini mwisho wa hiyo njia inakuwa ni kifo ama mauti. Jesus is the good way. Yesu ndio njia nzuri pekee. I want to pray with anybody. Nataka niombe na mtu awaye yeyote. That is saying pastor. Ambaye anasema mchungaji I need to walk in this good way. Nahitaji kutembea katika hii njia nzuri. That gives me rest. Ambaye inanipatia pumziko ya moyo wangu. I want to walk in this perfect way. Nataka kutembea katika hii njia iliyothabiti. A way that I will never live a life of regret. Njia ambayo sitawahi jutia. I want to walk in that path. Nataka kutembea katika hiyo njia. I want that to be my portion. Nataka hiyo ikuwe ni sehemu yangu. This is a church. Hii ni kanisa. This is not a condemnation center. Sio mahali ambapo ni kwa kusisimua mtu. This is a place of healing. Ni mahali pa uponyaji. A place of restoration. Mahali pa urejesho. A place of mercy. Mahali pa rehema. Don't leave this sanctuary. Usitoke katika kanisa hili. Like this man that said we will not walk in this way. Kama watu hawa katika Jeremiah waliosema hatutaenda katika hii njia. Leo hivi this is the first prayer. Hii ni maombi ya kwanza. You say man of God pray with me. Nasema mtumishi wa Mungu omba pamoja nami. I want to walk in this way. Nataka kutembea katika hii njia. This man rest for their soul. Ambaye inapea wanadamu pumziko la milele. I'm tired of my own way. Nimechoka na njia zangu mimi mwenyewe. Tired of running. Nimechoka na kukimbia kimbia. I'm tired of old paths that don't Nimekukimbia ho mchungaji niombe hili na hili. I need this good way. Nahitaji hii njia nzuri. I need rest for my soul. Nahitaji hii njia ya pumziko. Na kuomba ukampe Yesu maisha yako. Again, kama haujaokoka ama uliokoka na ukaanguka uko pale. Unasema nataka Yesu Kristo. Nataka hii njia yake. Amen. Lift up your hand where you are. Inua mkono wako popote uko. I will pray well for you. Na nitaomba pamoja na wewe. Lift up your hand. Don't fear. This is Usiogope inua tu mkono wako popote ulipo. Thank you for those people lifting up. Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki wale ambao wameinua mkono. Ashas please help them. Shemanzi wasaidie wakuje huku mbele. Those behind their please help. Wale ambao wako nyuma wasaidie tu waje hapa mbele. Just come I want to pray for you. Kuja tu tukaweza kuomba pamoja. This is not a condemnation center. Hii sio kitu mahali pa kusisimua mtu. This is a healing center. Hapa ni mahali pa uponyaji. Come in Jesus name. Njo katika jina la Yesu. Come in Jesus name. Njo katika jina la Yesu. Somebody saying I need Jesus. Mtu sema Yesu. I need to walk in this way. Ninahitaji kutembea katika njia yako. Just come. Njo tu katika jina la Yesu Kristo One more time I want to ask before I close Kwa mara nyingine nataka niulize kabla nifunge There is a way Kuna njia And Jesus is the way Na Yesu pekee ndio hiyo njia You say pastor pray Unasema mchungaji I need Jesus Nataka Yesu Every eye closed Kila macho ikiwa imefungwa Think about your life Fikiria kuhusu maisha yako Think about the way that you're walking Fikiria kuhusu njia ambayo unapitia 
Think about how if that way is it giving you rest? Fikiria kwamba hiyo njia ndio itakupa pumziko la amani. Has it brought peace in your life? Kukua na amani katika maisha yako. Has it brought contentment in your life? Imeleta kutosheleka katika maisha yako. And if the answer is no. Na jibu lako ni kwamba hakuna. This is my last call. Hii ndio mwito wangu wa mwisho. Lift up your hand ashes will help you. Inua mkono wako na shemanzi atakusaidia. Give your life to Jesus. Kama unataka kumpa Yesu maisha yako. Just lift up your hand say pastor. Inua tu mkono wako. Say pastor Tom pray for me. Nasema mchungaji omba pamoja nami. I want Jesus. Nataka kumpokea Yesu. I want to walk in this way. Nataka kutembea katika hii njia. In Jesus precious name. Katika jina kuu la Yesu Kristo. Those of you that are watching wala ambao mnatazama kwa mtandao We thank God for this that have come to the altar please put your hands together. Pigia makofi hao wote ambao wamekuja katika um, katika uh, kupata Yesu. As we pray with them. Ulipokuja pamoja na wao. You could be watching. Unaweza kuwa unatazama kwa mtandao. And you also making this prayer. Na unafanya uamuzi huu. Also join in this prayer. Unganika pamoja nami katika maombi haya. And then I'm going to make another prayer for the rest of us. Nafanya haya maombi sisi wote kwa pamoja. But I want you to stretch forth your hands towards this wonderful. Nataka uelekeze hao wapendwa mkiono. Talk to them find out his name. Amen. I want us to pray. Yakobo tunakushukuru for these that have come kwa ajili wapendo hao ambao wamekuja saying we want to walk in the way wanasema wanataka kutembea katika njia zako naomba pamoja nao katika jina la Yesu kama mchungaji naomba pamoja na wao lord you bless their lives kwamba utabariki maisha yao this decision they are making today hii uamuzi ambao wanaofanya siku ya leo will cause them to find rest for their soul itasababisha wapate pumziko katika maisha yao for there is a good way kwa sababu wewe ndio njia nzuri that gives us rest for our souls ambaye natupa pumziko ni wewe i pray and bless this man in jesus name bariki mtu huyu katika jina la yesu i speak blessing upon this lady nena baraka katika binti huyu upon this lady katika huyo bindi in the holy mighty name of jesus katika jina kuu la yesu kristo that today they find rest for their souls kwamba leo wanapata pumziko katika bwana but the power of the holy spirit kwa nguvu za roho mtakatifu to god be the glory kwa mungu kuwe na utukufu to god be the praise na kwa mungu kuwe na sifa and the church katika jina la yesu ya kanisa liseme haleluya the church said haleluya Praise the Lord. All right, you know what to do. You need to get their details. Uh, you know what to do. Where is David? You people know what to do. So, I should not be saying those things after they finish. You know what to do with them. Amen. Welcome into the family of God. Karibu katika familia ya Mungu. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. I want to pray for you. 
Taka niombe kwa ajili yako. To pray for you here in the service. Taka ni kuombe katika jina la Yesu. You're going through some trial. Unapita katika majaribu. And you can't see a way out. Na unakosa kuona njia ya kutoka. In this wilderness. Kuna njia pekee uko katika jangwa. And it seems like you will die in that wilderness. Na unakaa kana kwamba utakufa katika hiyo jangwa. You can't see a way. Awezi kuona njia. You can't see a way. Uwezi kuona njia. Out of whatever you're dealing with. Katika tia kila ambacho unapojopitia. But today I want you to know that Jesus is the perfect way. Lakini leo nataka ujue kwamba njia ndio njia pekee. Yesu ndiye njia pekee. You shall find rest for your soul. Utapata pumziko ya amani. If you need prayer, ukihitaji maombi, rise up on your feet. Inuko kwa miguu yako. I will pray with you. Nitaomba pamoja na wewe. We will believe God together. Tutaamini Mungu kwa pamoja. And Jesus will help you. Na Yesu pia atakusaidia. You need prayer. Unahitaji maombi? I want you to step out come and stand on this altar. Nataka ukuje ukasimama katika madhabahu haya. Pastor Rafael, there. Pastor, Raf, Pastor Kathy, please Pastor Kathy, Pastor Rafael, please go to that corner. Amen. Elizabeth, if you have not finished, I want to pray with the people. Please come for prayer. Please come. Jesus is away. Unaweza kufanya Unaweza kutenda Who is Alex? Mambo Makubwa Come Zaidi ya ni There must be a way Lazima kuwe na njia Jesus is the way Yesu peke ndiyo njia Jesus is the way. Yes, ndiye njia. Come, come on the altar, you people. Jua katika bado bado. Jesus is the way. Yes, ndiye njia. There must be a way. Lazima kuwa na njia. Jesus is your way. Na Yesu huyu ndiye njia. This is the only thing I want you to do. Ndio kitu pekee nataka ufanye. I want you to lift up your hands. Nataka uinue mikono yako. And just start saying. Na and just start saying na uanze kuimba say uanze kuimba jesus yesu not saying say ukianza kusema jesus yesu you are my way wewe ndio njia yangu doesn't matter what it is haijalishi ni nini sickness inaweza kuwa ni magonjwa jesus yesu is your way to healing yesu ndio njia yako ya uponyaji shock trouble Inaweza kuwa ni mapito ya kifedha. Yesu ndiye njia. Marito problem. Inaweza kuwa ni shida ya ndoa. Yesu ndiye njia. Barrenness. Inaweza kuwa ni utasa. Jesus is the way. Yesu ndiye njia. Dead. Kifo. You don't know how you're gonna get out of debt. Unaweza kuwa unapitia katika hali ya madeni mingi. You don't know how. Haujui kwa jinsi gani. You can't even switch on your phone. Hauwezi hata wekelea simu yako ikue on. Because of debt everywhere. Kwa sababu ya madeni ambayo uko nayo. Jesus. Yesu is your way. Ndio njia yako. I'm gonna give you one minute. Nitakupa dakika moja. Lift up your voice. Inua sauti yako. I just I'm not telling you to say anything else. Just say I am standing on this altar and Jesus you are my way. Sema tu nimesimama katika madhabahu haya na Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Lift up your voice. Inua sauti yako. Just declare Jesus you are my way. Anza kutangaza kwamba Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Come on say Jesus you are my way. Tusema Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Behind there. Uko nyuma. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. It doesn't matter what is going on. Haitalishi kinachopitia. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Jesus you are my way. Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue declaring Jesus. Endelea kukiri Yesu wewe ndio njia yangu. 
my way out of this confusion. Find my way in every situation. You are my way, Jesus. I don't know how to deliver myself. 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 But Jesus, you are my way. I don't even know how to pray. But Jesus, you are my way. Declare Jesus, you are my way. Jesus, you are my way. Nataka kila mtu akaweza kusimama kwa miguu yake walio nyuma. Don't stop playing. Don't stop playing. Wale wana If you can rise up on your feet please rise up. Kama unaweza kusimama kwa miguu yako ni vizuri. Join these ones here lift up your hands. Inua mikono yako kuungana pamoja na hawa. Say with me heavenly father. Sema nami Yesu bwana wa mbinguni. You already provided a way. Kila wakati umenipa njia tayari. I don't have to look for a way. Sitaje kutafuta njia nyingine. I already have Jesus. Tayari nimepata Yesu. Jesus is my way. Yesu ndiye njia yangu. My perfect way. Njia yangu ya kipekee. My proven way. Njia yangu ambayo imehakikishwa. My consistent way. Njia yangu ambayo ni ya kila wakati. And this afternoon. Na sasa mchana wa leo. I declare that I have a way. Ninatangaza ya kwamba niko na njia. A way out of every wilderness. Nimepata njia kutoka katika kila jangwa. A way out of every trial. Njia kutoka katika kila majaribu out of every sickness kutoka katika kila ugonjwa out of every mess kutoka katika kila hali mbaya out of every shame kutoka katika kila haibu out of every pain kutoka kwa uchungu wote out of every addiction kutoka katika mambo mabaya out of every sin kutoka katika madhambi jesus yesu you are my way wewe ndio njia yangu jesus yesu you are my way wewe ndio njia yangu Listen. Sikiza. This is what we are going to do. Hiki ndio kitu tutafanya. And something supernatural. Na kitu cha kipekee is going to happen. Kinaenda kufanyika. I have no doubt. Sina shauku lolote. I have no doubt. Sina shaka lolote. What I am saying. Kwa kile ambacho ninachokisema. You know what the Bible says? Unajua nini maandiko inasema? Jesus is the perfect way. Yesu ndio njia ya kipekee. He is a way that has been proven. Ni njia ambayo imethibitishwa. We have not asked you to come on this altar as an experiment. Hatukuulizi uje kwa madhabahu haya kwa kudhihiri kwa kukakama kujaribu. This is not an experiment. Hii sio kitu ya kujaribia. This is a proven way. Hii ni njia ambayo imehakikishwa. The Bible says it's a shield to those who trust him. Maandiko yanasema kwamba ni kinga kwa wale ambao wanamwamini. Look at your name and tell them get ready. Angalia jirani yako mwambie kuwa tayari. I'm going to say one we shout the way Jesus. Nitasema moja tunasema njia ni Yesu. No you shall just shout Jesus. Utasema tu Yesu until seven times. Hadi mara saba. Let me tell you what is going to happen. Wacha nikwambie kitu ambacho kitafanyika. Bondages will break. Minyororo itavunjika magonjwa yatatoka. Aibu itatoka Confusion will come. Kutoeleweka kutaelewa katika. Jesus is a perfect way. Yesu ndio njia ya kipekee. The good way. Njia ambayo ni nzuri. Something is going to break free. Kitu kitafanyika katika maisha yako. Are you ready now? Uko tayari sasa? I said are you ready? Yes. Uko tayari? It is a time to celebrate victory. Ni wakati wa kusherekea ushindi uko tayari? Yeah. 
Look at your neighbor and tell them it is over now. Ambia chirani yako imeisha sasa hivi. Tell them it is over now. Imeisha sasa hivi. Tell them it is over now. Imeisha sasa hivi. Are you ready? Muko tayari. When I say one, you shout. You shout the reduce kidogo. You shout the largest Jesus you can. Ninaposema moja unapiga kelele ya Yesu ambao unamjua. Are you ready? Uko tayari? I said are you ready? Uko tayari? Moja. Two. Yesu. to go utukufu kwa Mungu I command every sickness to go Ninamrisha kila magonjwa kutoka Katika jina la Yesu I command every door to be open Ninamrisha kila milango kufunguka Katika jina la Yesu Wilderness, let there be a way. Katika ilo jangwa lazima kuwe na njia. Wilderness, let there be a way. Katika ilo jangwa kuwe na njia. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. I declare jobs. Nina tangaza kazi. I declare healing upon your body. Nina tangaza uponyaji kwa ogonjo. I command confusion to leave. Nina murisha kutwele wa kutwake. Every satanic and demonic attack go. Kila mapepo toka. Powers of darkness be broken. Gubu za giza toka. Demon spirits are rebuked. Mapepo toka. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Darkness live their life. Giza toka dani ya maisha. As of darkness live their life. Mimesema giza toka dani ya maisha. Darkness live their life. Toka dani ya maisha ya. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hey. Lift up your hands. Inuwa mikono yako. Lift up their hands. Inuwa mikono yako. We are not just shouting. Hatupigi kelele tu. They shouted. Kupiga kelele walipiga. And the walls came down. Na zile kuta za yeriko zika kuja chini. Lift up your hands. Inuwa mikono yako. I shall stand behind. Mashemazi simama nyuma yao. Right now. Sasa hivi. From the top of your head. Kutoka kwenye kichwa chako. Yes Lord. To the soles of your feet. Kuelekea kwenye chini ya migu yako. I speak. Nina nena. The power of God. Govu za mungu mku. To rest upon you. Ika kaya ju yako. Receive it now. Pokea sasa hivi. Yes. Pokea sasa hivi. Yes. Katika jina la yesu. And be healed. Na upoke uponyaji be delivered Na ukaweza kukombolewa Receive your breakthrough Poke uponyezo wako Receive help Poke uponyaji wako In the name of Jesus Katika jina la Yesu These pastors will lay hands on you Just say receive don't pray Just touch them Ushiombe wakusa tu wapia tu pokea Don't pray just say receive Pokea tu Just say receive Go to the next one 
Sema tupokea, sema tupokea. Just receive. Sema tupokea. Just receive. Sema tupokea. Ashas be a lot. Matemazi kwa tayari. Just receive. Sema tupokea. Just receive. Sema tupokea. Just receive. Sema tupokea. Receive now. Pokea sasa. Receive your healing. Pokea upanyaji wako. Pokea upenyezi wako. Pokea usaidizi wako. Pokea kazi yako. Deliverance. Pokea ukombozi wako. Restoration. Pokea ukombozi wako. Power. Of the Holy Ghost. Receive your testimony. Receive your testimony. Receive help from above. In the name of Jesus. Receive the way. That God has made for you. Receive increase. Receive promotion. Now in Jesus. Name. Receive help. Receive help. Receive help. Now. In the name of Jesus. Receive support. Receive support. Receive the favor of God. Receive wisdom. For that situation. But the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive now. It is well. It is well. In Jesus name. It is well. Ni salama Young man it is well Ni salama Yes it is well Yes ni sawa It is well Ni salama It is well Ni salama By the power of the Holy Ghost Kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu Young man it is well Iko sawa It is well Ni vyema By the power of the Holy Ghost Kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu Ni salama Be filled with the Holy Ghost Kuchaswa na Roho Mtakatifu It is well Ni salama It is well Ni salama Yes it is well Ni salama it is well. Oh, yeah. Ni salama. It is well. Ni salama. Lady, it is well. Ni salama. I speak that it is well. Ni nasema iko sawa. It is well. Ni sawa. The Lord wipes away your tears. Bwana anapunguza machozi yako. It is well. Iko salama. You have a testimony. Unapata ushuhuda. It is well. Iko salama. And the power of the Holy Spirit. Kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. It is well. Iko salama. It is well. Iko salama. It is well. Iko salama. The power of the Holy Spirit It is well Iko salama Yes it is well Iko salama Yes it is well Nio iko salama Yes it is well Nio iko salama Yes it is well Iko salama The power of the Holy Ghost Kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu Filled with the Holy Spirit Yes when I roam Mtakatifu Filled with the power of God Yes when I roam Mtakatifu Sasa hivi Yes it is well Nio iko salama Yes it is well Iko salama Yes it is well Iko salama The Holy Spirit Nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu Ikae juu yako Filled with the Holy Ghost That's when I roam Mtakatifu Yes it is well Iko salama I break every yoke Ninavunja kila minyoro Yes it is well Iko salama Yes it is well Iko salama It is well Iko salama It is well Iko salama Jesus is a perfect way Katika jina la Yesu kuso It is well Iko salama Jesus is a perfect way Yesu ndio njia kipekee It is well Iko salama Jesus is a proven way Yesu ndio njia imethibitishwa It is well Na iko salama In Jesus name Katika jina la Yesu Ya kante keda basa yanta Ze kanta kada bozo Ya basi kante kaba zoka if you have been praying for you, can sit. Kama nime kuombe unaweza ukaketi. Ya kanti kada boke zika. Wana kubariki. Iko salama nawe. Iko salama. Wakini tazama wakuone wewe. I declare a season of rest. A season of rest. I command every storm, every battle, cease. Yes, yes, cease. Be delivered. Be set free. Be set free. Be filled with the power.
power of the Holy Spirit. Now, 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 now. Sasa hivi, sasa hivi. Power of the Holy Ghost. Gufu zaram takatifu sasa. Ya kante kedi katabu. Sasa hivi. Katika jina la Yesu. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Sasa na gufu zaram takatifu. And in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. I speak the way. Inaongea katika njia. Let the power of the Holy Spirit. Njia za Roho Mtakatifu come upon this lady. Ikae juu yako. Now. Sasa hivi. Now. Sasa hivi. Now. Sasa hivi. Yes. Yes. Sasa hivi. Yes. yes. Be delivered. Dio. Be delivered. Kombolewa. Be delivered. Kombolewa. Be delivered. Kombolewa. Be free. Kuwa huru. Be free. Kuwa huru. Be free. Kuwa huru. Be free. Kuwa huru. I command your freedom. Inaamrisha uhuru wako. I command your freedom. Naamrisha uhuru wako. You will find rest for your soul. Pate pumuziko la amani. Rest for your soul. Pumuziko la amani. Rest for your soul. Katika jina la Yesu. Rest for your soul. Pumuziko la amani. The power of the Holy Spirit. Nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. The power of the Holy Spirit. Nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Rest upon you now. Nikakae juu ya maisha yako. Yes. Katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Ujazwe na Roho Mtakatifu. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Jazwe na Roho Mtakatifu. The power of God. Nguvu za Mungu. And Jesus is the way. Ay Yesu ndiye njia. Everybody lift up your hands. Kila mtu inua mikono yako juu. Say my life will never be the same again. Sema maisha yangu hayatakuwa jinsi yalivyo. I have a way. Kuna njia niko nayo. Yesu Kristo is the way. Ndiyo njia yangu. He is a perfect way for me. Yeye ndiyo njia ya kipekee. He is a proven way. Yeye ndiyo njia imethibitishwa. The tested way. Njia imejaribiwa. Therefore I can trust him. Kwa hivyo ninaamini today. Ya kwamba leo in Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will tell this church to come. Amen. You can go and sit. Tell her to come. Amen. Leo ni tarehe tisa mwaka wa mwezi wa Julai 2023. I'm going to say it publicly so that when it comes to pass. Nitaisema akiwazi ili wakati takapotimia. They will remember. Watakuja kukumbuka siku ya leo. That it was declared today. Ya kwamba ili kuweza kutangazwa siku ya leo. As you stand on this altar crying tears. Crying tears. Miaka as you stand here crying tears. A unaposimama hapa unalia machozi because you want a baby. Ni kwa sababu unataka mtoto. You will stand on this altar crying tears. Unasimama kwa madhabahu haya unalia machozi because you will be having a baby in your hands. Kwa sababu utakuwa na mtoto kwa mikono yako. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo is the perfect way. Yeye ndio njia ya kipekee. Is a proven way. Yeye ndio njia imejaribiwa ikathibitishwa. into your life today. Na nena katika maisha yako sasa hivi. Whatever has hindered your conception until now. Chochote ambacho kimepingwa uzao wako hadi wakati huu. Whether it's witchcraft. Kama ni uchawi. Whether it's medical. Weza, uenda ni mat- spiritual. Uenda ni ya kiroho. Whatever it is. Haijalishi ni nini. By the authority of the name Jesus. Lakini mamlaka ya jina Yesu. I speak into your life. Nina nena katika maisha yako. Not a baby but babies. Sio mtoto bali watoto. In Jesus precious name. Katika jina safi la Yesu. Let this be to the glory of your Baba, name. Baba mpe kwa toto katika jina la Yesu. It is done in Jesus. Imefanyika kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. 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 Utukufu kwa Mungu. Itakuja kutimia. I said it shall come to pass. Nimesema itakuja kutimia. You will remember this day. Ya kwamba utakumbuka siku ya leo. It was declared it shall come to pass. Itakuja kutimia. You will see this lady expectant in this church. Utamuona bibi huyo. Amen. Katika jina la Yesu. It shall come to pass. Itakuja kutimia. And anybody else there saying I need a baby 
in this particular moment na mtio yote ambao uko pale unasema ninahitaji mtoto receive pokea in jesus name katika jina la yesu not just for her i receive in jesus name yes in amen. jesus name amen in jesus name amen amen in jesus name amen hallelujah katika jina la yesu yes you receive in jesus name nimepokea kwa jina la yesu hallelujah amen it's time for us to give this what i want you to do ni wakati wetu wa kutoa nataka tufanye hivi. I want you to get your best offering. Nataka upate sadaka yako ambayo ni nzuri. Whether it's on the phone. Haijalishi iko wapi leo ni kwa simu. Come and lay it on this altar. Don't lay your phone. Come just stand up. Don't wait for a song. Get your best offering when when you hear this kind of a word. When you hear this kind of a word. Ukipata neno kama hili and you are in financial trouble na uko katika shida ya kifedha this is when you say lord hii ndio kitu unachosema bwana you are my way out of this financial wewe ndio njia yangu ya kunitoa katika hali kama hii and i'm walking to that altar na natembea katika madhabahu haya some of you are in so much trouble financially wengi wetu wako katika hali ngumu sana ya kifedha you are in a bad place uko na hali isiyo nzuri bad place Mahali pabaya Don't just lay it on the altar. Usiweke tu mahali kwa madhabahu. Come. Njo. We hold hands. Tukaweza kushikana mikono. I want mikono. to agree with you. Nataka tukubaliane pamoja na wewe. But if you are not the one just lay it on the altar and say I am coming out of this this debts, this borrowing, this no I'm not able to pay my bills. All this, let me tell you. Acha nikwambie. Let me tell, there are things I cannot say because I'm on camera. Kuna vitu ambavyo siwezi sema kwa sababu niko kwenye kamera. But I can tell you something. Lakini naweza kuambia kitu. My wife is here. Kaangu yuko hapa. And there are people who know that of a fact. Every time I'm in a problem, God delivers me. I didn't say sometimes all the time. Kila wakati niko kwa katika hali. It doesn't hali. matter what. Any time I'm in a problem. God delivers me. I said mm. all the time. Kila wakati. No matter what it is. Haijalishi ni nini. That's a grace. Amen. One minute I may not know what to do. Wakati mwingine sijui hata nifanye nini. The next minute. Dakika nyingine. I am helped. Nimesaidika. It happens all the time. Inafanyika kila wakati. Somebody say that's a grace. Hiyo ni neema. Mtu sema hiyo ni neema. Challenges you will deal with them. Those ones will come. Changamoto lazima zitakuja. Eh? This last conference is an example. Na mfano ni hii kongamano ambayo tumekuwa nayo. Last Sunday, Sunday I didn't even know how we were going to have si the kujua jinsi tutakavyofanya. But you know the miracles that began to happen. Lakini miujiza ilifanyika. Because that's the way of God. Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo njia ya Mungu. It is the way of God. Hiyo ndiyo njia ya Mungu. Si mama come and lay your offering you send your offering pay your tithe if it is your tithe come and lay it on this altar and come if you are holding an offering this is your last hundred bob this is your last 1000 it doesn't matter come here i want to agree with you you need god you need a way out of that situation unahitaji njia kutoka katika hiyo you, you need a way Amen. If it's your tithe just come and lay it on this altar. Ni fungu lako la 10 njoo tu kaweze kuweza kuwekeza kwa madhabahu hai. Is your offering or your tithe? Just lay it here. If it's tithe don't don't even talk to me just lay it here. Fungu la 10 wekelea tu kwa haya madhabahu. Is that your offering? Yo. Your offering? Okay, hold your hand. Father help this couple. Saidia wanandoa hao katika jina la Yesu. Receive divine help. Pokea unyasaidizi mkuu. The Lord is your helper. Bwana ndio msaidizi wenu. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. This is your offering. Come here.
this is your offering. Okay, put it on this. Is that your offering? Is it? This is your offering? Yes. All right, God bless you. I am agreeing with you. God will make a way for you. Mungu atakufanyia njia. I release grace. Achilia neema. The grace of God helps men. Neema ya Mungu inasaidia watu ikakusaidia. Grace that helps men. Neema inayosaidia watu. You will not struggle eternally. Hautangangana katika maisha katika jina la Yesu. delivers is your offering grace works for you may grace work in your life Have we all given our offerings? Is there anybody who has not given their offering? Is there anybody who has not paid their tithe? Amen. service I want to make an announcement uh, on the 6th of August it will be a Sunday Itakuwa siku ya from 3 p.m. we shall all go to launch believers of the church Kilimani Kilimani kwa ajili ya launch ya kanisa letu la Kilimani Kwa hivyo ile tukofia mulikuwa mumevaa last week. Tafuteni mali muliweka. <laughs> Amen. Lakini wacha ni wambia ukweli. Last week the praise and worship team was smart. Lakini, lakini, kukona lakini. 
hospitality, our protocol, were also very smart. Why don't you appreciate this team? They are, you are very smart. For the first time, Mulinfanya ni katamani koti ya green. Sinanga lakini, ni tatafuta yu kala. Were they not so smart? And our team here with their tukofia. You are so smart. Praise the Lord. Amen. You challenged our guest from Nigeria. Alienda kama ame challengeika yake yote. <laughs> he didn't even have words. Amen. All the teams, security team, catering, ushering, eh? Amen. ushers, intercessors also had uniform. This is the only church where I know intercessors wear uniform. <laughs> you are so smart. Thank you on behalf of the leadership for really standing with that conference and standing with the anniversary. We had a great day. All of you did an amazing job. Amen. So I want the leaders to stand up. If you know you are a leader, please stand up. The ones that are here, some of them are not here. Turn around. Alex, you are one of them. Turn around and appreciate these people with a hand clap. Amen. No, no, no. Wait. You didn't get what I said. This lead us to appreciate you. Yes. I lead us appreciate the people. Alex is not clapping with his whole heart. Now, I'm, I said that because when we came to you, you stood with us. Inasema hivyo kwa sababu wakati tulipokuja kwenu mlisimama pamoja nasi si ni ukweli. You people gave sacrificially. Nyinyi watu mlijitoa kweli kweli. That Sunday I didn't even know what to say. Sikujua hata niseme nini. But then that Sunday people gave. Lakini hiyo Jumapili watu walitoa. And we were able to do the conference. Na tukaweza kufanya kongamano letu. So on behalf of all of us. Kwa niamba ya sisi wote. Because in this church we work as a team. Kwa sababu katika kanisa hilo tunafanya kama team. I don't it's not Pastor Tom who makes decisions every de no anything you see happening here. This team ndio maana nasemanga na confidence. This team is in every decision that we make. Watu hao naona wako katika kila uamuzi ambao tunafanya. So this church is not being run by Pastor Tom and Pastor Kathy in our kitchen. Kwa hivyo sio uamuzi tu wa mchungaji Tom pamoja na Pastor Kathy pekee. Appreciate your leaders now. They are doing Wapigie viongozi wetu makofi. Aya Nessie please stand up. You did a lot of work. Appreciate this lady also. Pigia Nessie makofi alifanya kazi nzuri. Uh, there were times I could I could tell uh, nilikuwa ni nampeleka mbio lakini sasa hiyo najifanya sijui namweka pressure nesi why is this happening nina jam na badilisha sura lakini na, najua ako under pressure you did a good job please appreciate her amen and stanley stanley thank you for allowing your wife najua saa zingine nasikianga ka kitu naona like this your lady this your wife tunam tunam tunamvuruta sana no because she's there and she does a lot of work lakini hiyo maneno tutaanza kuangalia vile tutafanya eh kwa sababu this is a young family but stanley thank you for allowing uh, nancy to serve she was here in the morning here mpaka late you know uh, when we came from uh, i was very shocked when we came from western it was like 11 p.m. We found her waiting for us in our house, and and I was I was so touched. So, Mr. Mushiri, when you mutu amana sana, eh? When you mutu amana, to me shukuru. God bless you and God keep you. Just sit down. Uh, so, the sixth we are having that anniversary, not anniversary, church launch in Kilimani. Aya. This Wednesday, you know what happened there on is it on Friday? In the Mandamano. So there is there is something being said that there, there may be Mandamano on Wednesday. We don't know. 
in the event that that happens, it means we won't have our, what? our service. Because at times these things are coming with a lot of confusion. Friday where I live, there are places you could not go. People burning tires. We are just praying that iki to itakuja ifanya nini? Ishe. Kwa sababu ina affect lives. Watu waezi fungua biashara. Kuna mambo mingi. So we are praying that Jesus, who is the wisdom, will prevail even in the hearts of the leaders, that they will just find a solution. Sawa, sawa. Lakini maneno, kuna siku, wezi enda kazi, wezi fungua biashara, wezi enda town, watoto wezi enda shule. Eh? Like now, I can't tell you to come to church because I don't know what will happen. Alafu pate, you can't leave. You know that kind of thing? Some of you are not coming from near. We don't want to risk. So in case there will be mandamano, there will be no, there will be no service on Wednesday. Kila mutu wakaya mali atakuwa, atafadhali. Tusikuone kwa TV. Ukitupa bawe. Aya. Siwangalie kama whatever you came with is what you have. This is a public place. Yeah, stand here. Do you have everything you came with? And in case you didn't come with, a, with something and you have it, can you find out whose it is? You know, mutu aneza kwa meeka vibaya kwa mfuko yako. Do you have everything of yours? Iyo ni anani? Eh? Ati? Okay. Thank you. Are we okay? We always give our visitors the first opportunity to leave. If you are a visitor, please rise up on your feet. Come on, when you get in, see mama, see mama, see mama. Come on, when you get in, see mama. Mama, see see mama. Ochana na mama. There's a lady. Oh yes, mama. Kuna muingine. When you get in, appreciate that lady. 